From a shark that inspired legendary tales of sea serpents to a fish with a see-through head, today we look at the 12 most epic deep-sea creatures on Earth. Number 12. Stargazer The stargazer fish commonly found at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean is a frightening sight for fish and humans alike. What looks like the face of a zombie hiding in the sand is actually one of the ocean's most dangerous predators. The stargazer evolved eyes on the top of its head and is perfectly camouflaged with skin the color of sand so that it can lie on the bottom of the sea and wait for unsuspecting prey to get close. It also has evolved an appendage that looks like a wiggling worm which it uses to further lure in its dinner. Predators aren't safe from the stargazer either, as it has two large spines on the top of its fins that can either fill attackers with a potent venom or electrocute them with a powerful jolt of electricity. Number 11. Frilled Shark The frilled shark is one of the world's oldest species and is so rare that scientists have gone through periods where they believe it to be extinct only for one of these creepy creatures to make an appearance in the deep. Thought to be one of the inspirations for ancient legends of sea serpents, the frilled shark has a slender body that can grow up to seven feet long and were probably much larger in the past. At the end of its snake-like body is a vicious mouth that is filled with over 300 jagged teeth, which it uses to shred any fish it finds in its habitat over 5,000 feet below the ocean surface. Number 10. Vampire Squid this umbrella-shaped deep-water creep doesn't suck blood, but it is one of the most striking and terrifying-looking creatures on Earth. Because they're the only known species of their kind and display traits of both squids and octopuses, it is thought that it may be the evolutionary link between these two orders of cephalopods. The vampire squid can be distinguished by its deep crimson color, the webbing that connects its tentacles, and the two fins on its head that look like elves' ears. They move about the ocean using fin propulsion, seeing in the dark depths by shooting puffs of luminescent particles out of organs called photophores. Even more light is produced by the bioluminescent organs located at the tip of each tentacle on its head. Vampire squid feed on bits of organic waste known as marine snow by catching it with glutinous fibers that extend from its body. Number 9. Giant Clam The giant clam doesn't dwell too deep in the sea as it prefers warmer waters like those found in Australia's Great Barrier Reef but it is one of the most epic creatures on the planet. As the biggest mollusk ever discovered, giant clams have been found weighing over 500 pounds and over four feet wide. In order to keep their gargantuan bodies nourished, they use their forceful siphon to slurp up unsuspecting plankton. They supplement their diet with proteins and glucose excreted by the algae that live on the inside of them. This diet must be working to great effect as giant clams can live to be well over 100 years old. Though they're generally harmless to humans, there are many cultures that have legends involving giant clams that are big enough to suck people into their siphons. Number 8. Barrel Eye Unique to say the least, the barrel eye fish that roam the eastern Pacific Ocean at depths upwards of 3,000 feet look like an alien submarine that was made out of a fish. Though it sports bioluminescent organs throughout its entire body, which average half a foot in length, it's the barrel eye's transparent head that makes it a bizarre spectacle. This fascinating product of deep sea evolution needs its head to be transparent as it has no eye holes. Its upward facing eyes are located completely inside the animal's body, but are able to see using bioluminescence to light up the ocean outside the clear dome. The barrel eye has two large nostrils above its mouth that are often mistaken for eyes, and when seen as such, make it look like a depressed dolphin. Barrel eyes feed mainly on jellyfish and other small creatures that it sneaks up on from underneath. Number 7. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is truly the stuff of nightmares as it looks like a swordfish and a shark had an ugly baby with a long snout above a gnarly, tooth-filled mouth. These sharks are another odd species that are believed to have lived deep in the ocean since prehistoria. These rare sharks are mainly found off of Japan's western coast and can grow up to almost 500 pounds with an average length of around 10 feet. Goblin sharks owe their name to the big-nosed goblins of Japanese folktales, which they bear an uncanny resemblance to. Their diet consists mainly of squid, which they snatch with their jaws that can extend over three inches from their bodies, only adding to the shark's ugly, terror-inducing visage. Number 6. Giant Isopod 
As one of the largest crustaceans on Earth, the 14-legged, bug-looking giant isopod has a physical appearance that will make your skin crawl. A product of deep-sea gigantism, normal isopods have an average length of about two inches, while giant isopods can grow up to two and a half feet long and weigh almost four pounds. Using long antennae to navigate dark ocean abysses, they use their weight to their advantage devouring squid, fish, and their close relatives, crabs and shrimp. Like other crustaceans, they have a hard exoskeleton, but unlike a crab shell, the giant isopod's exterior is made up of several shell segments that overlap. This is so that when a giant isopod is threatened by a predator, they can curl up in a ball like an armadillo to protect their vulnerable underbelly. Number five, Fangtooth. Though it might not be high on the list of natural beauty due to its horrifying grin, the common fangtooth is one of the most remarkable creatures on the planet. The fangtooth is one of the most well-adapted creatures in the ocean with the ability to survive upwards of 17,000 feet deep. Although they don't get very big, maxing at around eight inches in length, fangtooths strike fear in the hearts of creatures even bigger than them, with an oversized mouth filled with teeth that are the longest of any fish in proportion to their bodies. Using their incredible sense of smell, they hunt and consume everything from large fish to crustaceans. Number four, big red jellyfish. Only discovered as recently as 2003, the big red jellyfish is one of the most distinct types of jellyfish ever seen. Dwelling deep in the Pacific Ocean, the big red jellyfish has been classified its own unique species in its own subfamily, due to its distinction of having large arms where most jellyfish have thin tentacles. Its arms have clusters of nematocytes, or stinging cells, which it uses for defense or to stun its prey. Because there have only been a few dozen ever observed, not much is known about the creature's mannerisms or anatomy, other than that they can grow extremely large as far as jellyfish go, measuring well over two feet in diameter. It is believed that the big red jellyfish use their arms for feeding and may predominantly hunt other jellyfish. Number three, the gulper eel. The gulper reel, which can be found throughout the world's oceans, living anywhere from 500 to 5,000 feet deep, has one of the weirdest anatomies by any animal land or sea. The gulper eel is also commonly referred to as the pelican eel, and with one quick glance you can see why. It has a disproportionately oversized lower jaw that looks as though it is barely hanging on to the rest of its body. Just like a pelican, it uses the jaw to scoop up its food in the form of squid, fish, and crustaceans, then swallowing them whole. However, unlike a pelican, the gulper eel can swallow creatures over twice their size as they possess a stomach that can stretch extremely wide, as if it were made out of elastic. The eel also boasts a very long and thin tail, which is tipped with a bioluminescent photophore that normally lights up a dull pink, but sometimes flickers bright red. It is believed that the eel uses this as a type of bait to lure in its prey, dazzling it in front of them and then swiftly gobbling them up when they get close. With underdeveloped eyes, the gulper eel is mostly blind, so it uses its sense of smell to traverse the deep. Number two, chimera. The chimera, which is believed to mainly be found in the Pacific Ocean in depths of over 6,500 feet, goes by many names, among them ratfish, water bunny, and most popularly, ghost shark. Despite its many nicknames, chimeras have never been seen alive until a geology expedition accidentally came upon one in 2016. The name Chimera comes from the fact that the creatures are distant relatives of both rays and sharks, having traits similar to both. Its body most resembles a shark, with a long slender body, dark black eyes, and prominent dorsal fin. It also seems to have similar intelligence capabilities of sharks, displaying curiosity when approached rather than fleeing immediately, as most deep sea creatures do. However, if you look inside a Chimera's mouth, you won't see sharp teeth like in a shark but rather tooth plates similar to that of some species of rays. Like rays, their diet consists mainly of shrimp, clams, worms, and sometimes small fish, which they suck up and crush with their tooth plates. Number one, giant squid. Immortalized in legends and popular culture for centuries, the giant squid was once thought to either be just a myth or long extinct. But as man has stretched the limits to how deep we can dive, the truth about the deep sea behemoth has come to life. It is very real and very big. Giant squid have been found in fishing nets and washed ashore over the years, but the first recording of a live one was in 2006. With eyes the size of basketballs and a beak bigger than your fist, 
the squid are thought to grow up to 50 feet long and weigh well over a metric ton at their largest. Not only are they humongous, they're theorized as being reasonably intelligent, with an incredibly elaborate brain, which is shaped like a lifesaver with a hole in the middle. The giant squid diet consists mainly of smaller squids and larger fish, with some evidence showing that they even cannibalize other giant squids. Their only known predator is the sperm whale, which have been found with giant squid remains in their stomachs. But the giant squid can more than hold their own against an attacking whale, as some giant squid carcasses have washed ashore that have scars that match sperm whale teeth. <laughs>